I met a young woman who would become a dear friend of mine, and her name is Claire Wylan. And Claire and I one day were talking about love and life and dating. And at one point I asked her if she had ever dated somebody with her own illness, which was cystic fibrosis. And she looked at me like I was crazy. And I later found out uh, that cystic fibrosis patients can't be anywhere near each other. They actually keep them isolated. And she told me that she really doesn't even have any friends with CF because it's also so heartbreaking for them because they have to watch so many of their friends die. Uh, immediately I thought, number one, how just freaking lucky I was to be able to go home and kiss my wife or hug my best friend. Um, and the fact that I don't have to use a, 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 um, a cannula or an oxygen tank to breathe. When you have cystic fibrosis, uh, two CF patients are told that they cannot get any closer than six feet. However, in our script and in our film, which you'll have to wait to find out, uh, our, our, our hero uh, decides that she wants to take a foot back, uh, hence the title, Five Feet Apart. Will himself needed to be reminded of uh, what he has to live for, and he had kind of given up. And Stella, on the other hand, needed to be reminded and shown that there is more to live for. And, uh, and uh, together, they're a kind of unique combination and an unexpected pairing. And, uh, and a kind of through, you know, through Stella, you know, trying to help Will do his treatments, which were really not for Will, but they were for Stella, so she could focus on hers, um, they find a unique connection. Comic books and, uh, and, and sketching, especially cartoons, are a way to, to show a deep opinion about something uh, while also maintaining a sense of humor about it. And humor, as we all know, kind of, uh, um, it, it, it loses, humor um, relaxes us. It loosens tension, so to speak. And, uh, and Will's very good at that. And he, and, and he can see that Stella is so, she's wound so tight and every interaction that they've had and, and the fact that he could like maybe loosen her up a little bit through this drawing uh, was a big win for him. Poe is life. He is, uh, he is energy. He is joy and happiness. He's such a fun character. Poe is Stella's best friend. And, uh, you know, Poe and Stella met when they were kids. They both were probably seven years old when they uh, entered the hospital. And they met on the same floor. And they've stayed in touch over the years. They've bonded over the fact that they both have the same disease. Uh, you know, they've timed their tune-ups at the same time. They've celebrated holidays in the hospital together. They've really been a massive support system for each other. But they've also never been closer than six feet apart. Now, even though the Shawshank Redemption didn't quite fully resonate with audiences while in theatres, it was its video release that made it one of the highest grossing video rentals of all time. Now, don't get me wrong, this could be because people like to ugly cry in the privacy of their own home. And I am one of them.